All right, welcome to the Dot Video Show with Jesse Miller, special NAB edition. Today we are focusing on some very cool lens controllers. And to help me explain, I'm joined by a special guest in our studio. Stephen, who are you and what are you doing on my show? Hi, Jesse. Uh, my name is Stephen Chappell and I'm the sales manager for C-Motion, um, specializing in wireless lens and camera control systems. Thank you for making it out. We're really happy that you could join us. Thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about C-Motion. Well, C-Motion has been around for just over eight years now, designing and developing uh, new and ergonomic ways of controlling lenses and cameras wirelessly. Okay, um, now I see you got a unit in your hand. I noticed we had some funny gag on the focus. Are you, are you making that happen? I certainly am. We're using a wireless hand unit. This is the C-Volution. This is the new hand unit that we were we uh, were showing at NAB last week. Okay, and that's a three-axis controller. What do you this got? This certainly is. This one's got focus, iris, and zoom. Okay. Uh, it's a modular system, so it can get even more advanced than what you can see here. Cool. And. Um Tell me about who's using wireless follow focus, wireless lens control in general. Uh, wireless lens control is used uh, on productions using Steadicam, for example, where you can't have the assistant close and physically contacting the camera. Also for crane shots, it's very popular. So anywhere where you're in, unable to get close to the camera or if you're too close, you become more of a hindrance than a help. Something like a tabletop dolly. Exactly. Techno cranes. Yeah, these are all kind of, these are regular. Uh, aspects of where people will be using a wireless lens control system. Okay. Well, I'm very excited to take uh, an in-depth look at the controller, at some of the motors that you've brought out. But before we get to that, I understand that you guys are particularly well suited to one of the latest video production sort of crazes lately, and that's 3D production. How does C-Motion make that workflow easier? Sure, well, 3D in the last 18 months has, has become very big. There's been a big explosion in 3D production. And with C-Motion, we've developed new software, so it enables our existing hand units and the new C-Volution to actually control synchronized focus motors. Um, okay. We can pass that on with iris and zoom, so the whole rig setup you have with the two cameras can be controlled by one single operator. So I, I don't have to sort of synchronize my hands not like this all, anymore? Not at anymore, no, it's all done through one simple hand control. One transmitter, two receivers, how does that work? No, it's one receiver, okay. um, but then we, we can channel out depending on what the setup is. So. The, the number of motors depends on how many receivers and channels that we need. Well, it sounds like this will best be uh, explained by taking a look at some of the gear. Yeah? Yep, certainly will. Let's take a look. All right, so we're looking at Midtown Video's HGW F900 uh, Cine Alta camera with the Cine Alta lenses on it. We've got our prime lens adapter, but, but some of this gear, Stephen, is unfamiliar to me. Why don't you tell me about the C-Motion stuff that we've attached? Sure, Jesse. Well, the unit you see here is called the Camin. This is our camera interface unit. This can be mounted to video and film cameras, uh, and the, we can power it through various cables, but for this example, I'm using a D-tap coming from the top of the camera down to the unit, okay. and we're able to boost that power. And I see an antenna here. Is that, what is that about? Well, we've got a 2.4 wireless frequency. This is communicating with the hand unit that we saw. Okay, great. And then um, on the front side, we've got, looks like we've got one motor connected. How, wh how, how much room do you have here? Uh, on this unit here, we have up to three motors. So this will give us a, a comparative fizz system, so focus, iris, and zoom. Okay. But for here, as you can see, we only have the single motor for a follow focus system. And, um, you know, not every not every motor is going to fit on every lens. We've had a lot of trouble with the, with the bigger size motors fitting sure. on, but this one looks pretty, pretty nifty. What, tell me about that motor. Well, this is the new motor from Hayden, uh, and it's it's a unique motor, the way you can change the gears from side to side and height adjustment, but it's a very compact motor as well. Uh, it's the new Hayden M21VE. Okay, we're very into models and model numbers here at Midtown Video, and of course, you guys know what the VE stands for, right? Now, Stephen, you brought a couple of other totally awesome things to show us. I really want to see how that 3D functionality works. Can you walk me through some of that? Sure. That's All right. Perfect. Cool. So here we've got a mock-up of a single lens with focus, iris, and zoom control, right? That's correct, Jesse. And tell me about calibrating the lenses. Uh, the calibration is a single button process controlled through the hand unit. This will send a signal to all motors that are attached. In this case, we have three. It will take them to the physical limit of the lens, the end stop, return slightly and going digitally. This enables us to use lenses without a fear of cracking the lens stop by too much force when you're ramping and wrapping the lens up. Okay, and once it's calibrated, you can then sort of set different proportions of the wheel movement versus the motor movement? That's correct. You can say, for example, on the long lens, you want to limit between 30 and 50 feet. Uh, you can limit the rotation of the lens, however, keep it in proportion to the hand knob. So you can get a full rotation of the hand knob only going to that 
That's exactly selected right. fraction. Yeah. Cool. So talk to me about the motors. Talk to me about the controls. What's what's controlling okay. what? Okay. Well, once they've done the calibration, you're able to associate each motor with an individual control module on the hand unit. The front motor is a focus motor, so I'm controlling that now with the focus knob. Okay. The front motor is going. Okay. The slider that we have here is for the iris. We're now controlling the rear motor, which is the smaller Hayden M21 VE that we spoke about earlier. All right. Totally awesome. And. The central motor is a zoom, and that's controlled by a microforce unit that's attached to the hand unit here. Cool. Now, um, this is for a single lens, focus, iris, and zoom. How would things be different with 3D production? With 3D production, we can use the hand control unit to separate the control motors, so your focus motor will be bounced on one camera, and the second motor will be bounced onto a second camera. And can you show me on the lens control unit what it looks like to reassociate the two motors to the same control? Certainly. As we can see from the, hand, the inbuilt display here, we have information on the focus and the iris positions of the motors. To synchronize the motors, we enter the display menu, select motor control, and each motor here is assigned to a specific controller. If I wanted to synchronize two motors together, I can say, scroll down to the zoom, press the select button, assign to focus, and then press back. Now we have two motors that will be synchronized through the focus knob control. So now we have the two synchronized motors. Now unfortunately not all focus motors are synchronized and engraved exactly the same. What we're able to do in this situation is to freeze one of the motors at a value and adjust the second motor to align the end stop. We can then release the button and continue as a synchronized lens mapping. All right, Stephen, thanks again for coming in to show off this gear to us. Uh, I think it's totally awesome. Why don't you tell me what it is again we're looking at? OK, we're looking at the C-Motion Wireless Lens and Camera Control Systems. Uh, if you want any further information on the products, please visit our website on all the W's .cmotion.eu. Cool, and if you want to pick up a unit for yourself, come and see your friends at Midtown Video, www.midtownvideo.com. Thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll catch you next time on the Dot Video Show with Jesse Miller.